here, right? And it's put it's inducing a force downwards. Okay. So this is the force. Okay, so I I'll, I'll call this uh I'll call this force in the in the y direction. Okay, so e y. Okay, so I'm going to call this e y because it belongs to gear e. Right. So why is it over here? Because why is this point over here? Because it's the contact, right? So this one, uh, we 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 apply rule number contact. Uh, let's not put the rule. So this is due to contact. Okay, well, hold on. Why is it here? It's due to contact. A contact with adjacent gear, right? So C and D, the contact point is at the top, right? So this is the contact. This is the contact. Yes or no, right? Because this is where the contact is, and this is where the contact is. Now, now the question is this, okay? Is the force in gear D going into the page or coming out? Anyone, right? Is it going in or coming out of the page? If you apply the rules, I say, so the driver now is pulling down, yes or no, right? So, so if it's pulling down, it's generating a rotation Right, it's generating a rotation or torque in this direction, right? Is is generating a torque in this direction now. Right. So this is this is the torque. Right? Right, so torque is so torque on gear E. Right? Is force times what? Radius. Yes or no? Right? So torque is force times radius. How about gear D and gear C? Is the torque going to follow the rotation of the driver gear or is going to oppose? Can you remember? It's going to oppose, right? So the torque for gear D and the torque for gear C is in this direction. Right? It's going to oppose, right? Because if you look at force, it's going to torque is going to force times radius, right? If the torque is going to oppose, right? So now, question for you guys: Given what I've drawn, do you agree or disagree? The torque cannot follow the, the 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 motor, right? It has to what resist. I earlier mentioned them as forces because when force multiplied by radius, you're going to get the what torque. So when that's the case, were the force at Point D, gear D, and force of gear C going into the page or coming out? Anyone? Just the two of you. Anyone want to take take that up? Into the page? Yeah, into the page. That is the most important. If if you understand this today, I done my job. Okay, so this is your torque, your force in the D direction. Oh oh, uh, no 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 no. This is now it's going into the Z, yeah? It's going to the Z, E Z. And this is also going into your Z, into your C C Z. Okay. Right? Okay. Once you have this, right? It's not over yet. You have to look at your forces at point A and point B. Okay, you still have to look at your forces. So this is our point A, right? And this is our point, point B. We have to look at our forces and point A. So we have to look, we have to know uh, how these forces are acting at point A and point B. So we know there is zero uh, forces acting in the x-direction. Okay, as I say, 
we are going to ignore or we don't know we don't have any excel so i'm going to draw a, our transformation now i'm going to draw now so we're going to view this shaft okay so i'm going to draw a transformation so we are going to look in the x y direction okay so i'm going to draw I'm just going to draw the shaft now. Okay, I'm going to draw the shaft now. So this is our shaft. Okay. 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 So this is our shaft. Following the transformation. Okay. I'll 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 zoom out. So this is our point A. This is our point B. Okay. So this is our point C, our point D, and our point E, right? And at point E, you have a EY coming down here. You you have a you have a EY. Wait, let me. You have a yeah. You have a EY coming down here, right? And then at point C and point D, right? You 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 have you have your forces going into the page, right? So like what I taught you in 3D analysis, right? Ignore the crosses and the dots, just analyze the arrow, right? So at point A, so if, 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 if you look at point A now, okay, if we fix at point A, point B will have a reaction force, right? So this is your BY. Right. So I if when you take moment about point A, okay. So if I'm going to take moment about point A, right, which I draw a, a dot now, E Y will be generating a what? A moment at point E in this direction, right? So at point B, it has to counter that moment, right? It has to counter that moment. Right, moment at point B has to counter. So for it to counter, that's why this arrow is going up, BY. Okay. Likewise, if you take moment at point B, right? Right. If you take moment at point B, I'll use a different color, right? ME will be coming in this direction. So the moment at point A has to be in the opposite direction. So for this case, that is why AY will be in this direction. Okay, so ignore the crosses. The crosses will not affect this. So if you look at B, what so what? What have we done? We have done this. Okay, so we have clarified that we have a force down here. Okay, we have clarified that we have a force down here, known as your B Y, and then another force down here, known as your A Y. Okay, then the next thing we do, we are going to view it from a different direction. Okay, we are going to view it in the in the uh so called up. Yes. How do we get the AY direction again? So AY, you take moment about point B. Oh, okay, 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 got it. Right. Got it, got it. Then you you see the okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. These these are some tricks that I've done to to confirm your free body diagram direction. Okay. Very easy trick. Th then the next thing we're going to view, we are going to view from x z direction. Okay, we are going to view this from x and then we are going to view from the z direction. Okay, so we are going to, we're going to view from the plan view. So again, this is our shaft. All right. So this is our point uh, A over here is our point C over here our point D over here our point E then over here is our point D All right so C and D right C and D we know that they have E Z in this direction so we we have C 
CZ. And we have EZ. And no, no, DZ. What am I doing? Come on, Eugene, wake up. Okay, CZ. We have DZ. And then at point E, you have a force going downwards, right? From the plan view. We are looking at the plan view now, right? And then at point A, you have dots. The forces are coming upwards. Okay. So now if I take moment at point A, okay, I'm 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 taking I'm taking moment at point A now. Okay, I'm taking moment at point A. What you can see now, right? So we we have we have uh, CZ going this direction, generating a moment. We have DZ generating a moment. It's static analysis. So B, right? Moment at B has to counter it. So when that's the case, we have a force coming down this way, right? So this is our uh, B in the Z direction. Okay. Now, if we were to take our moment at point B now, right? Take moment at point B, then we have a, a moment generated by D in that direction because of the forces, right? So moment at A has to be coming down this way to counter the green. Yes or no? So when that's the case, this is your direction of your AZ. All right, so now we're going to put it in here, right? We're going to put in here, this is the direction of your BZ. And this is the direction of your AZ, okay? Now, this is the most important thing. Once you have this done, okay, everything is easy. If you have not got this done, that's where the problem comes. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to break down here. I'm going to paste. Okay. So this is what we have, what we have drawn. Okay. All the forces that we have drawn. Now the next thing is, I want you us to compare to this diagram over here. This is from the solution manual. Okay. Or from the textbook. Okay. I want you all to compare. Can you see what, what we've just drawn? Is it the same? I want you to see for yourself. It's the same, yes or no, right? I want, I need you to have that level of confidence in resolving the forces. Because once the forces are wrong, that's where the problem comes, okay? Once the forces are wrong, the moments are wrong, the moments are wrong, the, the top are wrong, everything is wrong. So when you're applying the formula, everything is wrong, then yeah. So that, this is where the designing of transmission shaft is our responsibility, okay? Because we are taught over here, okay? Material science, they don't teach stuff like what you see now. Okay, now it's 8.30. The difficult part is over, okay? Next, we are just going to put in numbers. The analysis is the difficult part, okay? Go for a break. We come back at 8.45, okay? Go for a break.